freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. And as per the AA sign there, we are on our way to collect some Christmas trees. This is a job which my colleagues have been doing for a while. I believe normally you have to have a curtain side trailer or a flatbed with posts, and I have neither. <laughs> so um, it's gonna be fun. Uh, we might need to use a little bit of extra straps to make sure they don't fall off the trailer. I've never done this before, never delivered Christmas trees. Um, so this will be a first. We've got four, four deliveries to go to, four different places. I can't remember where they all are off the top of my head, um, but they're all sort of around the M25, uh, sort of west. So you're talking like, uh, well, the, the furthest is Ewell. I know Ewell is one of them. Um, I think there's a couple more, a Brent, Brentford potentially is one, I can't remember. I'll let you all know later on when, uh, when I've got paperwork and I know for sure. Um, I think they might be going to garden centres, I'm not sure on that either, <laughs> it's all new, it's all new. Um, so yeah, we're going to go find a, find this place, never been to the place before either. Um, get loaded with the trees I've never delivered before and then go to four different delivery sites. We'll try and get it all done today. but. Um, depends really on what time we leave. If it is going to garden centres, and the good news is they tend to stay open slightly later. If it's going to like builders merchants, I can't imagine it is. Then obviously they shut at about four o'clock, uh, or at least stop taking deliveries. So yeah, it's going to be a case of wait until we get there, get the paperwork, find out where we're going, and then uh, cross that bridge when we get there, basically. Okay, so we are now only a mile away from the collection points. I think, so so far, there's been pretty good signage um, to say where the collection is. Those, uh, those yellow, yellow AA signs informing you on where to go. So yeah, there's one here, look, turn left. Christmas trees, foresty yard, turn left. It was all clear. Excellente. I got a feeling they don't often get trucks come around here. Nice little quaint village. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, they definitely don't get much trucks come through here, I don't think. So we're not going to go too fast. Don't want to upset the locals. It's all clear. A little bit snug here, but nothing we can't handle. Excellent. Something up ahead. Can't quite make out what it is. I think it's men in high vis. <coughs> yep. Yeah, it is. Couldn't quite make out what it was on back there. Uh, we've got some cyclists coming down as well. Lovely. Bet they weren't happy that I was on their side of the road, but <laughs> I'd already committed. Uh, right, 600 yards and we should be here. Yeah, it's very well signposted. Fair play, fair play. My colleague said, take the left turn very wide because there's a concrete wall. And that wall is going to... Uh, I've looked at the imagery on 
Google before I left my last job. And yeah, it looks like it will take a tire out should you ride it. <laughs> should you ride it. Right, we're going to go left here. Oh, it's a bit of a blind turn for any cars coming around while I'm on their side of the road. Lovely. Did we do that wide enough? That is the question. Yeah, loads of room. Loads of room. Oh, right, where do we go now? can't be through the gate, surely. Do we go this way? Yeah, there's a sign there. I was expecting to go straight on. Yeah, yeah, this way. And then colleague said the first right was customers and then we're the second right. This makes sense. This does make sense. Apparently there'd be someone here Wait, oh hang on, it says lorry straight on. Okay, we go further. Go on one more. Hopefully we're taking them on the pallets, that'd be nice. Rather than individually. Where do we go? It's very Christmassy in here. I don't know where to go. No idea. Probably there'd be someone waiting for me, but there's, there's no one here. I've got four different places to go to, I know that. 1095. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Not already. Right. Um, I'll see you guys in a bit when we find out what we're actually taking. He said something about pots. No idea. <laughs> see you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we're here to get some trees. Uh, they are going to be on pallets, we're taking these ones, they're pretty big. Uh, but I think we're only going to have like 10 pallets all in all. So not very many pallets. We get them on, we start strapping up. Like I said we've got four deliveries to do. We have 10 pallets, so yeah, each one's going to be like two, two pallets, maybe three pallets each. Yeah. Not very much. So uh, we'll get loaded, strapped up, and I'll see you in a bit. Straps are out, look, ready to go. Some uh, some ratchets, some straps. That's why they're called ratchet straps. <laughs> uh, so yeah, plenty of trees there, yeah? Right, that's the first pallet going on. Lovely, lovely. I'm gonna guess he's gonna push all the way to the other side. Spot on. There we go, just so we can see what the first one looks like. We've got to be a bit careful because, like I said, they are a little bit wobbly. What I'm gonna do is put two straps over, one over there, one over there, on each one at the very least, see what it looks like. And then uh, if we've got to put more on, we will. But yeah, not too shabby on pallets. Ah, so actually, that's a taller one. Huh. And it's leaning already. That's a wobbly one. <laughs> right, let's get strapping. Okay, we're loaded. It's just the three either side. We've got one pallet for the first drop, which is that one on the back. We then got two for the second drop, which is the big one on the back on the other side and this one. We then got one, no sorry, two again for the third drop, which is this one and the middle one on the other side. And then the final drop number four is just the little one on the other side. So we've got six pallets in all. One, two, two, one is the, uh, is the 
the order. I've put three straps on each one. Hopefully that will hold. If it doesn't, then there's gonna be some trees on the floor. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it'll hold. Anyway, I gotta go and get some, uh, some paperwork signed. Right, book is signed. Just visited the toyed facilities. <laughs> uh, right, let's jump in the truck and I'll tell you exactly where we're going. We're going to just home base stores. So uh, yeah, let's jump in the truck. <clears throat> right, you join me in the truck. We, um, we're just putting in all our destinations into the postcode. So starting with the very last one, working our way backwards. So I've done three of them. I'm just doing the last one now, which technically is the first one we're going to, if that makes sense. And then when we get there, so all of the other ones are being recent destinations. So I'm having a look at the map, off the roundabout. looks like in there cool right so I should now have every single place that we're going to in the sat nav the first one we are 42 minutes away the furthest one we are an hour and a half away which means there's only 45 minutes between the first one and the last one and the other two are in the middle so we're about sort of 15 20 minutes away from each store it's not very far so the first one we're going to is home base in Maidenhead. The second one we're going to is home base in Brentford. Then we're going to home base in Hansworth. And then we're going to finish off with home base in Ewell. Uh, home base Ewell closes at six o'clock. So I reckon we can get them all off. I do reckon we can get them all off. That's the aim, the aim of the game. Right, I've put in the destination of the first one, but I've not planned the route. Right, we're going out of here and we're going a different way to what we come in, so I don't know whether the road is suitable. <laughs> we're going to cross that bridge when we get there. The other thing we're going to do, because we are now finally setting off, we're just going to keep an eye on these trees while we're leaving this place, just to see whether they uh, move around too much or not. Like I said, I was going to put just two on each one. The boss said just put two on each one. I've actually put three on each one, just to be a bit more safe. They don't look too bad. I think I've taken worse. A bloody dash cam has fallen off again. That's what that banging is. On a sec. There we go. Sorry, the dash cam keeps falling off. It's on like a sticky thing, but uh, it's obviously not sticky enough. Yeah, so we should get all this off today. Fingers crossed. What of the last store closing at six o'clock? And there's only like one or two lifts per store. So we, sh we shouldn't be at each store very long either. Um, yeah, I'm going to say with a bit of luck, with a bit of luck, we'll be completely done by like four o'clock. With a bit of luck. I've said that. Now we'll see what happens. It's quarter to twelve. Like I said, the furthest one's only an hour and a half away. So, yeah, in theory, we could be at the last one for two o'clock. It's just whether we can get four deliveries made in like two hours, which gives us half an hour at each one so that's the target see if we can get tipped within 30 minutes at each drop that is my target right that was the first test of these trees because that left turn was a bit too fast really but yeah they ain't budged we're good we can go straight out straight out but yeah i've not been out this way so i don't know what the road's like <laughs> but uh, we're going to take it anyway. And eventually we're going to end up uh, coming out towards Thiel. So yeah, anyway, let's crack on. I'll see you at the first delivery, see you in a bit. Do you know what? The speed camera is all over the place today. I come up from Southampton this morning uh, up to Thatcham where we just got loaded with these trees. On the A34, there were at least four speed cameras, at least four. There are loads of them. Anyway, <laughs> we're in Maidenhead. 
Uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to film the approach on every single store. I don't know. We'll see. Might make the video a bit long otherwise. We'll see. Well, I might do, I might not. <laughs> but we're at Maidenhead. We need to take a right hand turn at this roundabout. So we're going to start getting the right. I'm not sure if both lanes go right or not. So we're getting the right hand side lane anyway, just in case. And then for this store, we've got just the one pallet to come off. It is quite weird going to stores for like, for like one pallet. It's really weird. Normally, mostly during my career, it's been full loads, if not half loads for a place. Very rarely has it been one or two pallets. Very rarely. Right, we're looking for home base. I believe it's a big complex of multiple buildings with a shared access for deliveries. Therefore meaning I could be in for a wait if any of the stores have deliveries in there. So we'll have to see. Never been to this place before, so I'm only going on what I can see from the street view and Google satellite. I believe I want to take a left turn now. No, not, actually not just yet. Is it this one? Yeah, this one. I believe. I'm going to need both lanes to make the turn. There we go. And I think I'll go down there on the right. I think. I see home base over there. Taxi's drop-off point. Yeah, it looks like a shared access with nowhere to turn around either. Uh, we'll just drive in for now and see what they say. Uh, goods deliveries, please ring for attention. So yeah, we've got to go out and ring. Lovely. the bit that's annoying is waiting for someone to come and see you. At least with builders merchants you can walk straight in and go find someone. Second time ringing. Literally no answer. Well, it's three times I rang now, no one is answering. Right, firstly, no one is answering, so I'm going to make a phone call, call the stall up, hopefully. Secondly, and quite obviously, they're not going to be able to tip me here. I need to reverse in, because it's on the passenger side as well, so I'm going to reverse back into the yard, hopefully. Right. Should be able to access the tree from that angle. So yeah, I'm gonna give him a call now and press the button again and see if someone actually answers. I'll see you in a bit. I was still, still waiting for someone. Um, well, technically someone did come out to me. Said, do you need a fall lift? I said, yes. And then they called again, so. <coughs> Been in now for about 10 minutes. Just, uh, just one pallet to come off, that one there on the left. Once that one comes off, we can crack onto the next one. Right, we are now loaded. It's uh, ominously leaning over. So I've put two straps put in left and put two straps put in right as well. So hopefully that will uh, stay on. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. When they're side by side like the other ones, they look fine, but by itself, it just leans over a little bit. So I put four straps on, hopefully it sticks. Now I'm going to crack on to the second one. I've already put it in the sat nav. It's a good 45 minutes away. So not only have we been here longer than I ideally want, the next one's actually further than I thought. So we're already behind schedule for that four o'clock finish. <laughs> right, let's crack on, see you in a bit. Right, we're now at the second one. And again, no answer. There's no bell to ring. No one's answering the phone. I'm starting to get annoyed with home base. There's, there is a sign that says no deliveries between 12 and two when we're at, 
at half past one, so that's a bit annoying. So might be a case of waiting for half an hour. It's just frustrating, I want to get on. <laughs> yeah, no one's still answering their phone, so now I go walk into the shop at the front, find a member of staff, and get them to uh, tell goods in that I'm waiting for them, waiting to be tipped. <laughs> Well, I just went into customer service and uh, told them I'm waiting for someone to come out. It turns out the goods in bloke was on the shop floor, so couldn't see I was here. I said I phoned, phoned the store number, but no one answered. So they've been there for 20 minutes. So they apologise. Apparently someone's now on their way out to come and see me. So that one there's coming off on the back. The one's leaning over a bit. It's only held on by one strap at the moment. And then the other one on the left, that one there, is coming off. And then uh, crack onto the next one, which is only 20 minutes away. Right, we're getting there. Someone's just come out to me. And I wouldn't say had an argument, but more uh, debated which one was his. And I was like, the one on the back, mate. Oh, but the one on the front says home base. Yeah, they all say home base, mate. You're having the one on the back. Are you sure? Mate, you're having the one on the back. Take it off, I'll move over, then you take the other one off, and I'll go. It's like, it's not a debate. <laughs> I'll tell you which one is yours, take it off. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to get going. We've been here for too long now, like, been here for half an hour, and nothing's come off. I just want to get going. Um, once they take, the t once he takes one off, and I'll move over, the other one will come off, and then I've got to strap up, because uh, there'll be one left on its own again. And then we can make our way to delivery number three, which actually, according to the sat-nav, is 18 minutes away, so it's not too far. If we left now, we'd be there at quarter past two. So it should be about half two, give or take. Anyway, here he comes. Let's get him off. All right, that's the first one coming off. Oh, she's leaning. Oh, she's leaning. I wouldn't want to be taking that off, to be honest. Oh, 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 oh. Right, that's that one done. I tipped. And someone just asked me, some bloke in a van just come up to me and asked me if I wanted to buy a TV. That's the sort of place we're in. <laughs> right, onwards to the next one. We'll be there in 18 minutes. See you when we get there. Right, third delivery. We're at the gates. Big old gates. I'm not sure that's actually ringing. Right, straps are off. I've got to sit in the cab on this one. Not trusted to stay outside. Not the end of the world having to sit in the truck because I can do some paperwork, get the next one set up. So we're going to Epson next. How far away are we from Epson? Here we go. We left now half past three. Hopefully we won't be here for long. Even if we're here for another 30 minutes which I think is doubtful, I think 20 minutes tops, um, and including the strapping back up. Then we'll, uh, we'll be at the final one by four o'clock, which is my ETA roughly earlier. So we're actually back on schedule, back on schedule. Yeah, boy. And uh, just, <laughs> just had my engine on and I got told off, not allowed your engine on. So da, clearly you don't trust me, do you? He goes, oh, it's not you, it's not you. Yeah, whatever, it's like a power trip. Not allowed to have engine on, not allowed to sit outside. You know, got to have Ivis on. I get the Ivis bit, but it's a pain. Just hurry up and take them off and I can get on out of your way. Well, that's the first one coming off. Lovely jubbly. We just now want to take that one off on the back end and then we'll strap up the last little one. Okay, last one to go. It's all strapped up. We've only got two on this one. It'll be perfectly fine with this two. Let's uh, jump and drag and crack on. Right, we are only an hour, not an hour? <laughs> I was gonna say an hour and a half. We're only a mile and a half away from our final B&Q. We definitely made that light, 100%. We won't make this one. Um, yeah, we're just a mile and a half away from our final home base as well, not B&Q. Man, I'm losing my mind, losing my mind. Yeah, home base, final store. Hopefully we won't be there for long. Um, our ETA is in 11 minutes time, which we'll put it at 15.34, so 25 to four. So it's not too bad. Hopefully we can get it off before four o'clock, which is what I was estimating we should be able to do um, come 12 o'clock time, wouldn't it? I estimated that. So pretty good. Someone once told me that I chase time too much. I always, a clock watch. 
I'm not really clock watching. It doesn't bother me either way if you know if I'm delayed. I just like to guess and get it right. If I get it right, but I just feel good that I've got it right. I mean, um, if I get it wrong and it's actually five o'clock, it doesn't bother me. I got it wrong. That's all. I'm not like losing time if that makes sense. I used to clock watch. I know what you mean by clock watch. I used to do it when I worked in retail and the day dragged. The day does not drag for me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm not doing it for that effect. Anyway, it's a bit narrow here. We can make it before that Range Rover comes round. Lovely. Thanks for pulling out, mate. Right, we need to get in the right-hand side lane because we're turning right in 500 yards time, apparently. God, I love sitting in traffic. We're only now five minutes away. <laughs> but two, two minutes is traffic. 15.31 now. Ha! <sighs> So yeah, that last home base I went to, don't even remember the store name now, that's how insignificant it was, but I turned up. Hi, Viz. Yeah, all right, no problem. And then I undone those straps and they just wait in and wait in. I said, I'm ready when you are, mate. I said, I'm waiting for you to tip me. Yeah, yeah, you need to go sit in your truck. I looked at him and said, do I? Because yeah, you have to sit in your truck if you want us to tip you. It's like, okay, so I sat in my truck. And then before he even, before he even took a pallet off, I turned the engine on um, just to warm it up a bit. It was a bit cold. Oh, you can't have your engine on. Oh, God, you don't trust me, do you? <laughs> Bloody hell. Drive this lorry all over the UK, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles a week, and I can't be trusted. Obviously, somewhere down the line, an accident has happened, and that's why they're doing it, but it's just a bit of annoyance. So it looks like all the traffic is caused just by this crossroads. Organ crossroads. They seem to stay green for quite a while, but they're going to turn red by the time I get there, I think. Which just typical. Stay green, stay green. Yeah, they've gone red. Bloody hell. <laughs> well, we'll definitely get through on the next one, that's for sure. But we're sticking in the right lane because at the next roundabout, we need to turn right. So we're going to stick in this lane for now. Okay, we have green lights. Green lights. Let's go, 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 go. Probably got a queue back in this to get back out as well. It's getting a bit narrow here. Bloody hell. This van needs to go in the left lane. That lane's merging. I think it's very narrow there for me. Anyway, we're turning right. Home base is just here. Ah, perfect timing for these lights to turn green. Go on. Go on, keep them. All oh, right, it's just a crossing for pedestrians. <laughs> all clear, all clear, let's go. It's clear on the left, can take up a bit of room. Thank you very much. Lovely, let's go down the weight limited road. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Turn right down here and turn right again where it says deliveries only. Sweet. Oh, a bit of a bump in it for deliveries only. Oh, yeah, I've actually gone up a curb. We'll just park up here for a second. We'll get someone to come and have a look at us and then uh, we'll go from there. So again, I've turned up, pressed the button, no one's answered. That is all four home base stores have not answered when I rang the bell. It's a nightmare. Anyway, we've unstrapped. We're going to phone the store now and see whether they can get hold of someone. I don't think this is the Turner Circle. It's too tight. Um, the only thing I think of is that we drive in reverse out or we just reverse straight back onto the road and drive out one way or the other. Let's see if we can get hold of someone. This takes the mick. Every store now. Hello? Honestly, doing my head in. But they heard that. <laughs> Told you they would get their attention, didn't I? Gates are now open. Funny that. Ugh. Ain't that funny? Right, we're tipped. And the bloke who just tipped me is the nicest bloke out of them all. 
funny young lad. He was apologetic. He said, sorry for the wait. I said, oh, I won't wait that long, mate. I was only waiting like five minutes. So I won't wait long. Hopefully, yeah, you stop in the traffic, I can see. I can see him stopping the traffic. Just in case of reversing back. I'm going this way. People are blasting their horns. I'll show them what horn blasting sounds like. Get around this corner, hazards off. Indicate left, seatbelt on. Lovely, we're done. <laughs> we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Um, four drops made. Only half a trailer, mind, like three quarters. They're quite big pallets, so it's easy enough work. The, the most annoying thing for me was the, uh, the waiting to be tipped, like for someone to see, like with builders merchants, you pull up outside, you walk on in, all right, mate, I've got delivery for you. Yeah, all right, drive, yeah, just wait outside. We'll be with you in a minute. At least then you know that they know that you're there. But you, you rock up to these, and it's not just home base. It's being q home bargains sometimes, uh, the range. You pull up to these places, and they're all boarded up for security, obviously. You ring the buzzer. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you don't know if they've heard it. <laughs> and that, the bloke had just tipped me, the boy, he, really nice boy by the way, he was really, really kind. He said, sorry mate, he said no one told me no one was uh, in the delivery, I was at the other side of the store. So that's fine mate, I said it's not your fault, at least you're announced it's only one. And he was quite happy that it was only one as well, so I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's all gravy baby. Anyway, Christmas trees have been delivered. One thing to tick off on the uh, items of delivery. I've delivered many things over my very short career. Many, many different items. And Christmas trees are now one of them. <laughs> uh, it's all good, it's all good. Right, anyway, that is probably... Now, do you know what? I'll wait until I get back to the yard and then I'll, I'll say bye to you in the yard. It will be dark, it'll be pitch dark in the yard. We're not looking to get back until at least 10 past six. But obviously we're gonna get some traffic on the way as well. And I might also need to get a break in on the way back as well. Oh, oh, it's touch and go. Yeah, I might need to get half an hour break in on the way back, even unless we make up some time. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you uh, when we're back in the yard. Right, we're at the services. Unfortunately, we have run out of time. Not total working time or driving time, just four and a half hour limit. We're on four hours and 25 minutes of driving. Hang on, I've got my keys out. <laughs> yeah, we're on 4.25, which means we can only go five minutes down the road. We are 35 minutes away from the yard. It's so annoying. We've got to stop for a break. Literally 35 minutes away from the yard. But laws are laws. I would like to go home. I'd like to go see my family. But I can't. I've got to, by law, have a 30 minute break. So I had 15 earlier waiting for uh, the home base lads. So yeah, got to stop here now for a 30 minute break. Once that's done, we can crack on, get back to the yard. We're looking at about 10 to seven, something like that. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna pop to the services. Might as well make use of my 30 minutes. See you in a bit. Okay, that's us done. Neutral, engine off. And uh, yeah. Seven o'clock. Shut up. Lights off. Yeah, seven o'clock. So, um, not too shabby. Uh, we started at about quarter to six this morning. So, you're talking 13 hour shift pretty much, just under. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. And it was nice to deliver some Christmas trees as well for a change. Um, never done them. A lot of my colleagues have done them last year and this year, and I've never done it. So, now I have. Something to tick off <laughs> on the list of things I've delivered. But yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And I think this video will probably be coming out in December. So it's about, it's about the right time. So yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.